I'm Ross Drinkwater. I'm a photojournalist, writer and photographer, and I live in Ireland. Back in 1971, I was an actress, and I was doing very nicely, but I had a terrible itch not to be an actress, but to be a journalist. So I rang up a magazine, an English magazine called Vanity Fair, and I said, I'm going to the first night of Jesus Christ Superstar on Broadway. W would you care for a piece? And they said, yes, yes, we'd love a piece. So then I rang up Robert Stigwood and said, Vanity Fair have commissioned me to write an article on Jesus Christ Superstar. Can you help with any arrangements? And Mr. Stigwood, being a real gentleman, laid on the plane tickets and the hotel reservations and someone to look after me, and off I went to Manhattan. And that's how it all started. I wasn't a photographer, not at all. My boyfriend was a photographer. So with 24 hours to go, I said, give me a camera, teach me how to take pictures. As a result, I turned up with my camera at Jesus Christ Superstar I arrived in the afternoon, I think it was at a dress rehearsal, and it was absolutely chaotic in the theatre. Everything was going wrong. Uh, I was helping the doorkeeper throw journalists out of the theatre. They kept trying to sneak into the rehearsals. Andrew Lloyd Webber was losing his mind. Play it exactly as it's written, I remember him saying. The first night happened, and it was an absolute wow. Every time I needed to change a roll of film, I had to go in the ladies' room and read the instructions for the camera to see how to get the film out of the camera and put a new one in. The thing I remember about Andrew and Tim, I mean, I was very young at the time, but, but they were even younger than me. They, they, they were like two teenage kids, two teenage kids with, with a show opening on Broadway. And that their passion was infectious. They, they were so excited about it. But the show was so powerful. There was no question this was going to be really landmark theatre. It was quite clear that was going to last certainly as long as me and perhaps even longer. It, it was just such a triumph. After the first night, there was a party for some friends, a thousand friends in Central Park. And my minder, a, a lovely chap called Don, escorted me to the party and left me with the maitre d'. The maitre d' got his, his names mixed up and introduced me to the throng as Miss Ross Drinkwater from the London Times. And I opened my mouth to say and thought better of it. So, of course, everybody in the party wanted to speak to me, uh, to tell me what their next plans were. Otto Preminger, Tennessee Williams, Andy Warhol were all over me. Um, Andy Warhol said to me, if we're going to do pictures, let's do it properly, let's go outside. Now, I found him to be totally charming and not at all like his public persona. But once we were outside on the pavement, he suddenly struck this slightly loony pose that we think of as Andy Warhol. I'd kept in that until I'd taken the pictures. Then he reverted to nice Andy. And of course, I came back with a portfolio of all these famous people. And it kind of... it. It got me in my way to being a journalist. It was it was tremendous.